Hey everyone, welcome into Dom Time with Dom Giordano. Joining me tonight to talk about Philadelphia, the last big union area, last big union town in the country, are Pat Gillespie. Pat is the head of the building trades in Philadelphia. Uh, some would say a powerful labor organizer. Big labor. That's a big true. labor. Yeah, big and labor, yeah. joining us is one of these guys that wants to keep people in a lower class perspective. That's Matt Rooney. He's the founder of Save Jersey. Now, Matt, you worked in a union, right? Was that your own experience when you worked I, I did, absolutely. I, now, wouldn't you think that Acme employees, employees in the supermarket, wouldn't they be better served by being in a strong union, that type of labor? I think you're better served being in a strong union if you're someone who's not at the high end of the productivity scale. I think that's the problem. I think it makes more sense to have a system where you treat every person individually and look at how good of a job they do. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, what you end up having in that type of situation is your pay is based more on seniority than to how many hours you can work, yeah, Pat, how good if, your customer about service about is. idea that this just reinforces not the best workers, the top workers, the top guys, but that's it all, protects no, the no, lower that's, that's always the argument. The, the yes. argument always is, well, these are these are basic levels, and and it doesn't stifle at all anyone's productivity. It it simply doesn't because you require your employer to pay you a fair wage. Now, mm -hmm. the the rules that are agreed to by the union are agreed to for to better everybody. Yeah, well, so, wait a minute, so, Pat. You can defend the work rules now. You've been a guy that's a reasonable guy in this at the convention center. It's not so much just the pay. But if I have a little laptop or something like this and I want to bring it in no, and set no, it up. You don't, don't go to the convention center because that is that whole operation down there right. is expense accounts financing. Do you realize that the unions voluntarily came, came forth and said, we'll, we'll amend our premium time. Instead of, mm. instead of starting with premium time, they went, they went to work. Uh, and after the first eight hours, it would be time and a half. To this day, and that's like... 15 years ago, they did that. Right. To this day, there are still contractors who are charging the customers double time. And the customers know that. And everybody's happy with it. And they, when they talk about over cost, over, well, it's the unions. So that, that's, that's a bad example to, to give. Uh, if, if you would see how that last light show went in, it was a fascinating project. You, you'd see empty space, and the next day, you, it's, it's like the whole thing blossomed. Now, so the reputation, all this stuff, the violence, the MTV stuff, uh, you know. The, well, look, I'm like responsible this. for the MTV. I know you are. That's I am, and, I, and I'm right. proud of that because these folks come in, MTV come in, and they, they hired a contractor. They said they were going to do everything union. They hired a contractor who had uh, serious arrearages right. with, with the unions. Now, what that means is people who have worked for them before were not paid their benefits. Right. All right, so we took a very hard stand with that. And the fellow from MTV said to me, yeah. we're MTV, we're important. So, so are the people who work for these, you know, these right. people owe us money. And before they go back to work, they have to pay that money. All right, let me give you another one that's in the news right now. Now, you're a guy that's, you get the capitalist system, certainly you're a capitalist yourself. U.S. Open coming to town. Yet we have the rat out there in Ardmore Avenue. And, and this is a black eye, doesn't this? Reaffirm the idea. Here's more union trouble with well, this. Well, Dominic, sometimes you have to stand for, for right. what, you, what you believe. Now, the U.S. Open is going to come to Philadelphia, and it's going to generate upwards of $100 million worth of revenue for our area. This is a right. wonderful thing, and we applaud it. But at the same time, they, they initially when they came in, they brought folks in from, from Mexico. They brought folks in from Guatemala. Uh, who were they were, illegal? Who were not documented. Uh, not legally here. I'll take that and, as yes. And uh, yeah, that's another issue. <laughs> Who's the lawyer? But, 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 but they, they, they came in and they said, well, we're the U.S. Open. Well, tough crap. You're the U.S. You have to, you know, these jobs belong to us. These opportunities belong to people who live in these communities. And it got worked out originally, and then there was some backsliding somewhere right. along the line. But t tell um, us about the rat. Has that been copied in other cities? Across the country, <laughs> I actually do on radio tool. the yeah. Rat Pack update I understand. of where it's the great. rat is. Yeah, yeah it's wonderful. I, I wish it could be uh, 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 something like uh, uh, 
Mary Poppins or something like right. that. But that doesn't get the kind of attention. What, that, what do you think of the rat when the rat gets important? There, there they the are, place. right? I mean, well, it gets attention. Know, yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. sure, it gets, yeah. it, it gets attention. But who are we really helping with those types of antics? Are we really helping the middle class? Or are we helping union leadership stay in power? That's is, that who's, is that we, who's... We is just that want who's, to stay in power. That's so, so much nonsense. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, let's well, look at it. Yeah, let's look at it. Are people are people we moving have, to we North, are people who are, North Carolina just who are for the weather? Us, who are cheating us? Are they moving left, to North Carolina right. just for the weather? I don't think so. We have lovely beaches up here. They're moving to places like North Carolina because people labor. are moving to Philadelphia. Because what labor's put about? so many regulations oh, and made it so expensive to do business you know what in happened states the, like my own New Jersey you know what and happened in to Pennsylvania. The textile industry. They're getting the textile out of here. industry was yeah. The textile industry was was in in New England. Then it then it moved down. To, to the south, and then it moved, moved and, and the southerners, yeah, welcome. And then, then when they had to pay people decent wage down there, they left. And you don't say a damn thing about that. Nothing says about, about that industry. And by the way, the shirt still costs $17, or still costs $70 now. I mean, so that, and it's made in Japan, or it's made, made not even in Japan, in Taiwan, or some third world country, they make them. I think, and, I think and, if we had somebody yeah, here from, that's, that's great, I think if we had somebody here capitalism. from Boeing, they would disagree. All right, guys, hold oh, yeah, up with yeah, that. Sure. I want to get some callers in here. We have Pat Gillespie, we have Matt Rooney. We'd love to get you in on this. The last big union town, is this a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Is it a mixed thing? That's straight ahead on Dom Time.